You're listening to the Eldest Jiry Channel. <laughs> Good Night, Precious by Blair Daniels Performed by Otis Jiry My son is two years old and does not sleep. So, when I saw an ad online for Good Night, Precious, the only book guaranteed to put your child to sleep, I clicked. I was skeptical, but there was a video demonstration on the website. I'm going to show you how this works. Right now, I've got a child in bed. The goateed man motioned to a three- or four-year-old boy lying in bed wide awake. I'm going to read the book to him. Watch what happens. The final video cut to him finishing the book. The sun is set, and you slumber. Good night, precious. Little wonder. As soon as he closed the book, the boy's eyes fixed straight ahead, blank, motionless. Then they fluttered shut. No wake-ups in the middle of the night, either. Once he falls asleep with this book, he stays asleep, the man said over the boy's late snores. I was sold. I clicked the order link. In three days, I had the book in my hands. It was a lot thinner than I expected, only a few cardboard pages. The cover was a drawing of a boy sleeping in bed as an old woman, maybe his grandma, watched them from a rocking chair in the corner. I read it to Jackson that very night. It's time to go to sleep, little dear. When you wake up, I'll still be here. I read softly. The illustration showed an old woman tucking a child into bed. And she wasn't smiling. I glanced at Jackson, still wriggling and wide awake, but he seemed to be enjoying it, at least. Night has fallen, stars are out. Go to sleep now, don't you pout. This image showed the same woman sitting in a rocking chair next to her sleeping child. You'll go through sadness, sleep through pain, and when it's done, we'll do it again. Mm, that rhyme's really a stretch. I glanced at the image. The woman was getting out of her seat, walking towards her son's bed. Go to sleep now, little one. Be patient now. We're almost done. In this drawing, the woman was looking down at her sleeping child from the bedside. She was holding a pillow. I turned the page to the last one. My heart stopped. The old woman was pressing the pillow over the child's face, smiling with one of those cartoonish grins you often see in kids' books. I read in a soft, cautious voice, The sun is set, and you slumber. Good night, precious. Little wonder. I closed the book and looked over at Jackson. He was fast asleep. It really works. I moved him to his bed and enjoyed some well-earned alone time. Who cares if the book's a little weird? It really works. An hour later, I was asleep. I woke at 8 a.m. Jackson didn't wake me at all. A welcome change from the usual... I looked over to his still slumbering body and smiled. But by 11 a.m. he still hadn't woken up. He never sleeps this late. Maybe he's sick. I turned on some light music, talked to him. I patted his back. No response. Jackson, I said. I picked him up and put him on my lap. His head slumped against my chest. Jackson, are you okay? Nothing. Just his soft, deep breaths against me. Jackson? Jackson, wake up! Nothing. I yelled in his ear. I bounced him up and down. I brought him out in the sun. Nothing woke him up. 
Now it's almost three o'clock. He's been asleep for nineteen hours. I'm about to load him into the car seat and drive him to the doctor. I think something is terribly wrong with him. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to this story in its entirety. If you enjoy what you hear and what I do and would like to support me and my efforts, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Otis Jiry. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe today and share this video with everyone on your social media. It helps more than you could ever imagine. Again, thank you for listening and have a great day. God bless you.